Congrats. The Boone County School Board voted not to ban a book after a parent filed a complaint. We were the first to tell you about this today. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart now live for us in Florence. Jessica, a lot of different reactions from a very packed house as this decision came in. Yeah, Evan, Amy Yates was the woman who filed that harmful to minors complaint. I caught up with her after the meeting. She tells me she's disappointed with the board's decision and feels like they already had their minds made up before the meeting even started. Everyone else who spoke about the book tonight, though, was happy with the board's decision. People who ban books have never been on the right side of history. Endlessly Ever After is a choose your own adventure picture book where the reader is Little Red Riding Hood and a Boone County Schools mother wants it banned. She is given the opportunity if she would like to go uh, kiss sleeping, a uh, strange sleeping woman, which is Sleeping Beauty. She claims this scene promotes girls kissing and pedophilia. Let's not have these things that are creating harmful thoughts um, in our children's head. But others see nothing wrong with the contents of the book especially this Long Branch Elementary Librarian. I ordered this book because it was nominated for a Kentucky Bluegrass Award for grades three through five. Why would Boone County Schools ever consider banning a book by award-winning creators Dan Santa and Lauren Snender? We um, have children of varying abilities and disabilities and races, and children deserve representation, right? My children deserve to see a family that looks like theirs in a book. Antoine Smith-Roos has nine children with his partner. He sits on the site-based decision-making council at Long Branch and was part of the committee who reviewed the book. He said they found nothing wrong with it. All agreed that um, the kiss was not illustrated, was not sexualized, was not anything that was inappropriate to be at the library. Jessica Searcy let her children read the book. Two girls kissing didn't bother them. They said, do you know how many fairy tales have sleeping princesses that need to be kissed to be woken up? Lots of happy parents left this board meeting tonight. The Yates family was just not one of them. I asked Amy what's next for her, and she tells me if there's another avenue she can take this case, she'll explore it. Live in Florence, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.